Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to another edition of the Kwame Brown Project. Oh, yeah. Willie Brown's the type of guy Kick back, sit back. Like no. Get yourself your favorite beverage. Try to turn it down. Yes, air coming it's in now. Gotta go. It's getting cold. Really will, really won't kill it else. We got an exciting evening for you really guys today. Will, oh, Kwame. Really oh, Kwame Brown. So now, oh, Kwame. Oh, Kwame. He's coaching today, guys. He's doing some coaching. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. It just... I don't know. It's just so... It seems like he's trying so hard. Can anybody... Can anybody see that? Or, or am I just the only one that notices it? It don't seem like this guy's just, just kind of trying a little bit too hard. And and the thing about it is, like, it's not like he has like a huge following anymore. Really, it's actually not a huge following. Nah, it's not. It's not. Like, I mean, I know that like. At one point when Tommy Sotomayor was coming at him um, with everything, um, I know that Kwame had more viewers than he did. But now it's like, mm, nah, I think I saw one video, he had like 35 comments. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a sad thing to watch and... Just seeing him today trying to coach basketball. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He reminds me of those, um, he reminds me of those things when you go to the game and, like, uh, they have, like, the big mascot out there running around and doing stuff and trying to make people laugh. That's what Kwame is. That's what he was doing out there today, coaching. He was a mascot. He wasn't a coach. He out there trying to be Mr. Funny and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who are you? Who are you? As Do you know who you really are? Or does that always depend on what other people think? You see what I mean? And that... I don't feel as though he's too old to not be at that point. Because really, he's only 40 years old. I'm 50. But 10 years is a huge difference when you start getting up in age. A huge difference. Um, If you're um, trying to progress as a person. So, like, for Kwame to not know who he is at 40... Mm, it's it have it most people don't know most people don't ever find out who they are but for most people that have had experiences as he has and should have had you would think that he had, he would have found himself by now he's like the um he reminds me of the ninth grader um coming in um trying to mix it up with the seniors that's that's what Kwame Brown reminds me of. He's like he even though he's cool, he might still not be able to hang with the big boys. And he wants to hang with the big boys. And so he he tries to act like a big boy. That was pretty cool the way I put that together, wasn't it? So, you know, like um I'm going to get into the video. I know you guys are you know, you guys like that kind of thing, right? So, um, I want to say thank you again to all the people that came by, checked out my videos. Need more likes? Just hit the like button. 
it's not going to hurt you. And also, I want you guys to start commenting. I want this to be a little bit more interactive. Even if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Um, I mean, actually, the disagreements work better for YouTube. <laughs> so, if you don't like my videos, please comment below. Let's get into a big old argument. You know what I mean? Um, and, um, you know, we can see where it goes from there. Um, you know, I just, today is not that much, um, to really report on. Um, so I, I honestly, I just want to go to blunt time, you know, and then get my head wrapped around, um, you know, just get my head wrapped around, like, what is it? Oh, okay. Get my head wrapped around, um, you know, what he was doing out there on the court today. Sorry, I'm I'm kind of scrolling through here. I'm trying to find his last video. He was coaching, right? Let me see. They didn't put it on my history list. Uh-oh, Kwame. They're after you again. They're after you, Kwame. They did not put your video on my history list. White boy tactics. That's they always after him. They always up to something trying to get Kwame. They masterminding right now. They masterminding right now trying to get Kwame. Millions of people are trying to get him all at once. Cause he's so important. Let me see. You used to be able to type in the letter K and his name would pop up. Now you got to type it down his name near his own name. Okay, this is the video here. Okay. Okay. And it's like, I'm watching the game. And you know what? Let me stop it. I'm going to stop it right here. Because I was watching this, right, earlier. And I'm like, wait a minute. These guys aren't even listening to him. <laughs> He's not. He's just out there telling them to do stuff. He told them one time, he said, I want y'all guys to play zone. They go into their own little huddle over there and come out of timeout. He, he said, what y'all going to do? He said, we're going we gonna to play man. He said, okay. I'm like, what? What are you doing out there? What are you doing out there besides being one of them silly ass mascots? Don't you know that you're looked at as a joke? If people ask you to be a coach, do you really? I mean, come on. Basketball is not your thing. That's not your thing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That, that might seem funny to a lot of people for me to say that, right, to an NBA player. That's not his thing. Basketball was never his thing. <laughs> he never was. <laughs> he was just tall. All right. Blunt time. Y'all know y'all love blunt time. Because I always, what? Go off track. You get to get a little piece of my mind. This is my time. Blunt time. You can get some, um... I play a little music of mine sometimes during blunt time. I wrote this, um... I wrote this last night. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um... So I'm just going to blaze a little bit, chill out for a second, and uh, check out my song, yeah. Yeah, I got a good story for y'all today, good story. Blaze them up! So yeah, um, 
what I'm going to do with blunt time today is I'm going to be a little bit educational. Um, and then um, and then we'll go to the Kwame video. Um, I've mentioned trading a few times on here. Um, I'm not an investor. I actively trade. I know how to trade. And you see them charts on Bloomberg TV and all that stuff. I know, I know, I know what all that is. Mhm. Mm I just lucked out into it. I was um. I guess about it was about like maybe like ten years ago, about ten years ago. Yep. Um. I had gotten into a car accident, right? And uh, I was coming home from a club. And, um, I had these big old 22 inch rims on my car and my, my tires were wide too. So I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but those tires can turn into skis real quick <laughs> if you hit some ice. And so, um, I ended up wrecking my car and I had a little drink on me, right? I was drinking. So, um, I hopped out the car. I was like, fuck it. Fuck the car. Let me get the hell out of here, right? I just left the fucking car. Okay? And so, I just started booking it back to my house. I was running through the woods back to my house. Because I was like, I know the cops. I was out of Sandy Springs. So, I was like, I know the cops. They're going to they gonna be up here in just a second. Right? To see what's going on. So I just jetted. I didn't hit anybody. I just I slammed it to like the side of this bridge. Because, you know, they say like it freezes when it um, gets below quicker. It freezes on bridges faster. It really does. I experienced that shit. And so, um, I book all the way home. And I forgot that I, I didn't have my cell phone. My cell phone was still in the car. So I go over to my next door neighbor. I didn't even know him. He was a roster, right? So I go over to his house. And um, I was like, I need to use your phone, right? So I called somebody to come get my car and bring it to my house. You see what I'm saying? And so anyway, um, he came back over my house that night. I told him, asked him, did he smoke? And he was like, yeah. So I said, all right, look, I got some weed. I'll hook you up. So he comes over and um, he starts telling me about Forex, the foreign exchange market. And um, started teaching me. I learned for six months. Every night he would come over. I'd give him some weed and he would teach me Forex. So I learned that for six months for him, from him. But then at the time, you couldn't really get in. And this is the important part you need to hear. See, you used to have, you used to, you used to need like $10,000 in order to really get into the, the um, foreign exchange market. But Barack Obama, he did something real smooth when he was in office. And he made that whole thing affordable for just everybody. That's why you hear people now just jumping in the market and stuff like that. People trying to trade Bitcoin. They're not actually trading Bitcoin. When you hear people say they trade Bitcoin, they're not trading Bitcoin. They're investing in Bitcoin and hoping that it'll go up. And when you talk to these people, they'll always tell you how much they won, right? They'll never tell you how much they lost, right? You see what I mean? So what they're doing is they're putting $1,000 in and they're hoping it goes up. But if it, it could easily go down for a whole week. And a lot of times it does, but when that when that, that when that movement's happening, I can catch that. So when it's going up, I'm making money, and when it's going down, I'm making money. I don't trade cryptocurrency that much, but I trade foreign currency because it's more stable. So basically, foreign stable, um, foreign stable, foreign currency for for those that don't know, is um, money. It's foreign money. Um, to other countries, our money is foreign. And so they call it foreign exchange market, okay? A lot of people just say Forex, if you ever hear Forex. But um, every country has a, a certain currency 
um, and they pair those currencies together. So like, like now, right now I'm looking at the Australian dollar and um, the Japanese yen. See, they pair. Every country will pair up. All the major countries. It's sad that Africa doesn't really have one. Well, of course, South Africa has one, but none of the other countries in South in Africa trade are able to be traded. So anyway, um, you know, this is something you guys can leave comments for. I know this is a little bit more serious than I normally am, but I wanted to I wanted to get this message out because I do feel like I would be kind of like a sleaze ball if I didn't tell you guys how I make money. Um, how much do you need? You don't need anything to start. You know, you, you really wouldn't want to start with any money. You know, start out with your demo account. It's free. You know, get you a good broker. I have a broker overseas and here in the United States. My broker overseas is, is awesome because I have 500 to 1 leverage. So that means that every dollar that I put up, they front 500. The highest that your leverage can be here in the United States is 1 to 50. So that means for every 50, for every dollar you put up here, they front you 50. Okay. So they do that because people that don't know what they're doing, they blow your account immediately with that kind of leverage. Like 500 to 1 leverage. I trade that normal. That's how that's how good I've gotten at it. I don't it doesn't even matter if the leverage that high cuz I don't really lose trades. You know what I'm saying? So um if you guys are interested in learning how to trade, leave your information down below in the comment section. Um you know, I don't mind helping people. I let me let me rephrase that. I like helping people. That's why I wanted to mention it. Um, and so little things like this is, is kind of get the ball rolling in somebody's life. You know, it could change their life. And so um, that's my blunt time. All right. Let's get to the game. Mr. Kwame Brown out here coaching. Let's see what he's got to say. Let's see what Kwame's talking about. I'm going to let the video play a little bit today. I ain't going to interrupt. Hey, we doubling Jack in the post. Now, keep in mind, nobody's listening to him. When he's doing all that, nobody's listening to him. He's just like he's running the crowd. There we go. Come on, now. Oh, my goodness. I think his, his team did win, though. I think they won in the last Good few minutes. Good call. This is not jailhouse basketball. There you go. And again, this ain't basketball. This is not felon basketball now. The comedian Kwame Brown. Hey, tell him, we gotta clean this shit up, bro. This ain't felon ball, bro. Kick ball. Pee wee, stop it now. This is him coaching. You were, he with us. Right there, he with us. This is not felon basketball. Right there at the top. Bring Eight times he just said, this is not felon basketball. Eight times. Get low. Get low. Go with it. Freestyle yeah. with it. This is him coaching now. Not me. Him. Kwame. NBA professional. There it is. There it is. Good shot. There it is. That's okay. That's a good shot. The dude was wide open. Of course it's a good shot. What the fuck? Oh, I'm going to calm down. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let the video play. Y'all like y'all like Kwame Brown? I'm gonna let him play. I'm not gonna cut him off today. I'm not gonna do it. We need you now. They beating people out here. He with us. He with us. Oh, that's it. See that chain game basketball he doing? It's us. You pointed the wrong way, ref. Come on now. You pointed the wrong way, ref. What you got going on, man? Hey, you pointing the wrong way, and shit. Come on now, ref. I'm on you now. Poor Kwame. Yeah, you doing pointing the wrong way, ref. I feel sorry for this man. Hey, you right in the corner. Slide down, slide down. Space. That's a foul. It's a chain game basketball. Ten times chain game basketball. There you go. There you go. Good money. Now, Jill, be like Dennis Rodman then. Be like Dennis Rodman. This is, this is Kwame, the NBA professional. There it is. Oh, boy, you can't make Coaching. no woman take your ass out for three days. This is the same culture. Live in front of thousands of people. Take your time. He with us. He with us. He with us. 
Take him off the line. Slide up. Slide up, Nigel. There it is. There it is. That's the one you shoot, boy. And that's the one you're supposed to fucking make. What the hell wrong with you, goddammit? And then you ain't even get back. You want to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? We go suave. Get your ass back next time, boy. And he recorded the whole damn thing. This is 45 hey, minutes of this. I got this nigga on my line now. Go get him. Get that pretty nigga out of my neck. No, I got the knife. I got the knife. Somebody got to come to the ball. Hey, next time we're going to take your pretty ass out, boy. You ain't double that. You ain't double that. You ain't double that. You ain't double that. Hey, boy, you hit him with the hee-hee. That was smooth. Hee-hee. <laughs> They're standing in timeout right now. And he's not saying anything. He didn't say one word. <laughs> this guy, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I don't know how to do that. I don't know to I got to hear from get to my thousand subscribers. Y'all hurry up. Subscribe so I don't have to keep doing this shit, man. Hurry up. Hurry up. Just Please. I got about. I can finally do this. How long can I do this? I don't know. Maybe a month. I, I, I got a month. We we need to get the subscribers in a month, man. How many do I need? I need 280. I think 280. Hey, stop playing that jailhouse basketball. Eleven times jailhouse basketball. How many times are you going to say that? They not even listening to that nigga, man. He's not calling no plays. He don't know what the fuck they going to do. He just out there. Big ass mascot. He don't know what they going to do. He don't know. Last middle. Last middle. Swing, swing. They not listening to him. Somebody got to shoot that motherfucker. That's his... This this is coaching, man. This is I I could do a better job coaching than this, man. Shit, I know basketball better than this. Oh yeah, get get that damn light skin, uh, uh, D'Angelo. No, I need D'Angelo back here, motherfucker. Get D'Angelo. Yep, stop, stop. Get D'Angelo. I need you uh, down low, up high. No, no, not him. Right there, right there. No, 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 he's good. Oh, boy. There it is. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, God. Oh, God damn, nigga, you fine. Follow. Hey, D-Row, if you ain't going to hit shot that down. I don't know what to say. Come on, Nigel. Come on, Nigel. <laughs> Why would anybody want to watch this? I don't know. There you go, good deal. I don't know. I watched a couple of minutes of it. I fast forwarded it. Hey, Rip, I just looked at the end part, ball, right? But I didn't realize Get the whistle just... together now. They about to foul us. They about to foul us on defense. Good deal. On the floor. Hey, on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Yes, sir. We like that. We like that. Hey, move. This ain't chain game ball now. That bullshit. 12 times. This ain't no goddamn chain game ball now. 13. Fuck around with you, that bullshit. Hey, let him do it. He gonna mess up. Nick, put your ass on somebody. You said you would have messed him up. I said you hooping right now. I'd like to know the person that watched this whole video. Because you know I'm not going to. What you got going on, bro? <laughs> this, you know I'm not going through this whole damn thing. <laughs> you already know. Hey, you telling on me and shit. Hell Come on, no. Rev. Hey, you got to listen to that goddamn dope. Okay, wait a second. Now, you got to admit, tonight I was fair. You got to admit, tonight I was fair. I played the video for longer than I usually do, right? Didn't cut them off. I just, I don't see the purpose in this video other than to let people know that you did this. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just every time it's like less than I thought I was going to get all the time with Kwame. It's always less. He always don't deliver. 
it's just the story of his life, I guess. It's the story of his damn life. It's the story of his life. Well, I'm going to exit on this song here. Y'all can chill out and listen to it if you want. It's a nice little groove I made. And, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Just check out my song. Like, subscribe. All that good stuff. And I just don't know. Just your turn.